Welcome to Prayer for America. Again, I'm Walter Zagarevich. Next to me is my wife, Nina. And in the other screen, you see... Marcy Labaki. And it is wonderful that you can join us right now on Prayer for America Live. As I mentioned, uh, this is not our usual uh, time, but uh, we felt compelled of the Lord to very specifically get on every day this week and pray for this nation and pray for your That's needs right. as well. And uh, there are some crucial things that are happening. God is answering prayer. And uh, I just felt from the very, uh, from this morning that uh, we need to have an attitude of thanksgiving. Uh, the Bible says, I will enter his gates with praise uh, with thanksgiving so we come into the gates we come into the presence of god with praise and thanksgiving and god has heard our prayers is hearing our prayers and god is answering our prayers and just as we are broadcasting right now there is a major major case being uh, uh, handled or dealt with at the Supreme Court of the United States. This is the case where the state of Texas and 18 states have joined together um, in um, the case against the disputed uh, states where the election has had all sorts of irregularities and problems. And uh, right now we are praying that God would intervene, that God would give clarity, that God would uh, bring justice and that uh, that God's will will be done. As Amen. we've said before, God is not done with this country. God wants to use this country. And I believe that the future of this nation is in the balance. And it is up to you and I, the believers, the church of Jesus Christ, to push this through in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Amen. Sister Marcy. I'll just ride on the wagon you pulled out, uh, Thanksgiving, 1 Thessalonians 5.18 says, in everything, God has been impressing that last night and this morning, in everything, not for everything, but in everything, give thanks to God for the triumph, for the victory, because he said he leads us in triumph. So in everything, give thanks to him for his will, because this is the will of God. We're asking, what is the will of God? Thanksgiving is the will that God is with us. God is fighting for us. God is righteousness, truth, and peace. And God is bringing this to pass. So like Brother Walter, like you said, Thanksgiving is his will. And remember, all we're not the only ones praying. We know that. Why are we doing this on Facebook? So that it, we would have the hosts of Christians, multitudes of Christians, and you've been praying. And if you look at the word, the Bible declares that prayer is a seed that we sow. We seed, we sow the right seed by saying the right things that God is saying about things. And so God wants righteousness. God wants judgment. God wants the right um, things to be fair and square, things to be right and not under the ground and around corners and in the dark. That is not God's will. God's will is light and revelation and truth. And so we are declaring this today to, to Washington, D.C., not only to Washington, to all our states here, to all the United States, we're declaring this truth. And you all who have been praying with us begin to rejoice because we've been sowing seeds of righteousness and we will see the harvest of our sowing. Amen. 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 We have been planting seeds. You have been planting seeds by praying. We have been planting. We have been sowing and we are beginning to see changes. We are beginning to see uh, intervention, and we believe that uh, God is intervening, but we do need to pray for the Supreme Court justices. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a full uh, court hearing today, or just one or two judges uh, or justices. I, I don't have that information, but I do know that this is the, the deadline for the response of the 
states um, that uh, we have contested elections in, like Georgia and Michigan, and I believe Wisconsin mm -hmm. and Pennsylvania were named, that those states had until noon today, which is right now noon Pacific uh, or 3 p.m. Uh, East Coast time, to respond. Now, we need to pray that the Supreme Court, but there's so much pressure on every justice, on every, uh, there's so much pressure on everyone uh, in government and, and, and particularly the judges. And as we were on with Brother Tony Abram and his wife Marge yesterday, and he felt very strongly that we needed to pray for the judges. We needed to pray for the justices. And we need to pray that God would give them a backbone and that they would not shirk their responsibility, their constitutional responsibility to do what is right. So Father, in the name of yes, Jesus Lord. Christ, Amen. right now we pray Jesus for every justice on the Supreme yes, Court of the United yes, States of America, uh, though it may be uncomfortable, though it may not be to their political liking, but Father, we pray that you would give them a backbone, you would show them the seriousness of the situation, and you would cause them to do justice. We, you would cause them to rule constitutionally in regards to this case right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Give them backbone, give them fortitude, let them not shirk responsibility, but Lord, let them deal with this, cause them to deal with this, cause them, compel them, Lord, to deal with this issue not just throw it out, but to deal with it and truly act upon it in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, um, you know, yes. Nina, you had uh, uh, something that you, the Lord kept reminded you about the uh, unjust judge and, right. the, and the widow. Would you share that yeah, with us? Um, well, I was just praying this morning and the Lord reminded me of Luke chapter 18, verses one through 18. I just want to read it for you because it's powerful. Um, one day, Jesus told his disciples a story to show that they should pray and never give up. There was a judge in a certain city, he said, who neither feared God. He did not fear God and he didn't care about people. But a widow of that city came to see him repeatedly saying, give me justice, give me justice against my enemy. The judge ignored her for a while. But he's finally said to himself, I don't fear God or care about people, but this woman is driving me crazy. I'm going to see that she gets justice because she is wearing me out with her constant requests. Then the Lord said, Jesus said, learn a lesson from this unjust judge. Even he rendered a just decision in the end. So don't you think that God would surely give justice to his chosen people who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? This is great. He says, I tell you, he will grant them justice quickly. So praise God. We just need to keep persevering. And um, James 5, 16, the fervent, persistent prayer of a righteous man or woman produces wonderful results. And so we can stand on that promise. And God has given us these parables that we have authority that we just keep coming to him, keep coming to him, not with vain repetitions, but just declaring God's word and just declaring and decreeing over the situation that God has his hand on it and that God will hear our prayer and justice will be served. Amen. We are appealing to the mm -hmm. court of heaven. There is the Supreme Court of the United States, yes. but there is another court, and that is the court of heaven. And the Bible says that we have an advocate before the Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. He is our advocate. An advocate is an attorney. That's what, uh, in fact, in other languages, the word for attorney is advocate. And so we have an advocate, the Lord Jesus Christ before the Father. So when we stand on God's principles, when we stand on God's word, we appeal to the court of heaven to intervene. And that is what we are doing through prayer. So okay. Father, in the name of Jesus yes, Christ, yes. we come to you and we put this request to you, mm -hmm. the future of 
of the United States of America. Father, we yes, pray Lord. for justice. We yes, pray for Lord. fair and honest elections in yes, this country, yes, but even Lord. more so, we yes. pray that your plans and purposes, the yes, covenant Lord. that was made by the yes. founders of this nation with yes, you Lord. when this nation was founded, that, that those covenants yes. will be preserved. Yes. We know that you are a God keeping, a, 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 a God who honors covenant a god keeping covenant god and lord we know that you keep covenant and lord even though man may have failed even though man may have uh, not followed through yet you are faithful and lord we know that that covenant that was made with you because this nation chose you you chose israel but this nation was founded by people who chose you and so father we appeal to you we appeal to the court of heaven intervene and once again have grace on the United States of America. Have mercy on this nation. Bring revival to this nation. Bring a spiritual awakening to the church of Jesus Christ and to the entire nation. Put a spiritual hunger in the lives of people that they would begin to search sincerely, oh God, for you, not just for life to become quote-unquote normal again, but that people would truly begin to search you. And Lord, we know that as people search for you they will find you because you want to reveal yourself to them so father we thank you for another great awakening that you shall send to this nation and to the nations of the world but right now we appeal to the court of heaven that justice be done in the united states of america and that your plans and purposes would not be thwarted but will go forth in might and power in the name of jesus christ in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Sister Marcy, praise God. Yes, all I have is an exhortation to the Christians. While we are doing this, this very hour, the Supreme Court is deliberating, considering, judging this out, figuring this out, what they're going to do. And so we need to just fill that courthouse, the Supreme Court, with prayer. And with God's word, so begin to declare righteousness, truth, and peace, what God's will is. We can't pray for something that's not God's will. But if you know the word, which you do, because you're a Christian, you follow the Lord, pray, 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 pray. Listen with one ear and pray. Pray that God is, is working mightily. And I would just like to ask you a question. Because this question we all know, but every time I ask it myself, I get a little lift, a greater lift of believing the Lord. We always, when, when we, every time we face a problem, we should ask ourselves, is this situation before me greater than God is? Is it greater? No, it's not. God is greater. So we're appealing to the judge of the whole earth. We're appealing to the real Supreme Court, the Supreme, Supreme, Supreme Court, to make everything right, to make everything right, that justice will reign and rule. God is not going to not listen to us. We are his people. We are his bride. We are his church. And he cares for this earth like we do. He cares for the United States like we do. He cares that righteousness would be done and not anything else. And I'm sure that everybody from the left and the right also should want things to be done right. Because otherwise, we're just going to go in a tailspin that we'll never be able to get out of. If everything is corrupt, nobody, nobody believes anyone. And, and, and no one knows who's their friend and who's going to report on them and all kinds of things like that. You, th th that's not living. That's existing. You want to live. You want to enjoy your life. And that's God's will. Amen. 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 Do you have anything? No, um, Psalms 44. I just want to decree and pray that out loud. Um, um, oh, God, we have heard it with our own ears. Our ancestors have told us of all you did in their day. 
in days long ago. You drove out the pagan nations by your power and gave all the land to your ancestors. You crushed their enemies and set our ancestors free. They did not conquer the land with their swords. It was not their own arm, strong arm that saved them or gave them victory. It was your right hand and your strong arm and the blinding light from your face that helped them for you love them. You are our king and our God. So you command our victories. Only by your power can we push back our enemies and only in your name can we trample our foes. I do not trust in my bow. I do not count on my sword to save me for you are the one who gives us victory over our enemies. You disgrace those who hate us. Oh God, we give you the glory all day long and we constantly praise and we thank your name. Amen. We praise the name of the Lord. We need to thank have an attitude of thanksgiving thank despite you, what may look like a bleak situation, yet uh, our joy does not come from circumstances. It comes from the Lord yes. and our knowledge of God's will. You know, we know what God's will is and we know that God is for truth and justice and righteousness. And so that is what we pray. We pray your kingdom come, your will be done yes. on earth. Your will be done in my yes. life, my wife and our children, our grandchildren, but also your will be done in my city, in my state, right. in the United States of America. So Lord, we release into the atmosphere your lordship, your rulership, your your governance yes. over the United yes. States of America. Yes. We submit humbly before yes. you and we say your kingdom yes. come, yes. your yes. will yes. be done yes. in the United yes. States of America, yes. including yes. in this case yes. that is before the Supreme yes. Court of the United yes. States. For Lord, we have appealed to the highest yes. court, the court of heaven, and we believe that you have heard our prayers and we believe that you are answering your, our prayers and the prayers of many, many who have been praying around the, this country and around the world for the United States, because many know that what happens in this country affects the rest of the world. And so it is very crucial that we continue to pray and wage yes. spiritual warfare in this battle for this nation, the future of this nation. So uh, let's continue to believe. Let's continue to declare and decree God's will for this nation. And we are praying for other nations. And I just want to say that we're going to again have a prayer for America at noon tomorrow. Uh, God permitting, Brother Albert Ramirez, the prophet of God, will be with us tomorrow. And then Saturday afternoon, we normally do it uh, uh, Sunday evening but sun, saturday evening at 5 30 pacific 8 30 p.m east coast time we will be on with sister marcy brother tony and sister march abram and we'll have the whole crew on that night and we're going to do what we normally do sunday evenings and we'll repeat that uh, replay that on sunday evening at the same time but join us join us to, uh, tomorrow join us saturday evening and uh, let's continue to pray and believe. Well, we have been getting prayer requests from different parts of the world. We have people watching us in different uh, parts of the U.S., Canada. Brother Terry in Canada, God bless you. Uh, Brother Tony, our dear friend, Tony and Marge Abram, they're watching. God bless you. They were on with us yesterday. Uh, uh, Brother Anatoly Tachuk, way over in Zaporizhia, Ukraine. God richly bless you and uh, keep you and strengthen you. And we have folks uh, watching us in other parts of the world i believe in africa in germany brother vladimir god bless you and um, uh, we don't know where everybody is at but wherever you are at thank you for joining us and agreeing with us as we pray for america and if you have a prayer request write to us and i do see as we're um, uh, on that there is a prayer request that has come from i believe from cuba and we want to bring that up before the lord um, we have prayer requests that uh, uh and, and prayer um, answers. Uh, we've been praying for Sister Monica. She went through surgery.
very successfully and she is uh, speedily recovering. We're believing for total and complete recovery and healing since Monica had open heart surgery and a Yorda replacement, is that correct? Mm -hmm, but uh, Sister Monica, if you're watching, uh, we are believing for full and complete healing. You may still be not see you and not able to look at a phone right now, but when you do see this prayer, just know that we have been praying, we are believing yeah. and we are continuing to stand with you in faith, yeah. believing for your healing. Yeah. Um, and uh, Brother Nelson Bain, we have prayed and we continue to stand in faith for your sister. I believe it's Felicita. Uh, I believe it's her, her name. If I'm wrong, forgive me. But in the name of Jesus, we just yeah. declare healing yeah. Uh, an infusion of the resurrection yeah. power of Jesus Christ into your sister uh, there in Florida in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Lord, we intervene in her life touch her right now and guide the hands of the doctors and nurses that are aiding her in this um, uh, in this surgery there in open heart surgery in Jesus name in Jesus name uh, Lord um, we also bring up our friends in Cuba uh, I, I can't read every detail because I'm talking and trying to read at the same time in Spanish here but uh, we are believing that God is going to meet your needs my brothers estamos creciendo con que Dios suplirá sus necesidades, hermanos, allí en Cuba. So, God, in the name of yes. Jesus Christ, we send your word to our brothers and yes. sisters, pastors in Cuba who are praying, who are asking for God's intervention, some for healing, some for building situation. Lord, in the name yes. of Jesus, we send your word, Thank minister you, to them right Thank now, you, meet Jesus. their needs, Thank Pastor you. Dean, Pastor Audell, other pastors, in the name of Jesus, we pray for your intervention. Thank you, Lord, for answering prayer for meeting those needs in the name of Jesus Christ and Lord uh, we pray for friends in Ukraine uh, uh, Pastor Anatoly and Pastor Vasily and Pastor today and other pastors there in Zaporizhia and in 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 other uh, cities uh, Pastor Anatoly in uh, uh, Kherson and, and and other pastors throughout uh, Ukraine and Kiev and Zaporizhia and Kharkov Poltava uh, Kherson and even in Crimea Lord Lord, we send your word to them, strengthen them, give them boldness, and meet their needs, Lord. Physical health, strength, but also financial needs being met in the name of Jesus Christ. Work miracles for them, we pray in Jesus' name in Jesus name. So we're praying for you brothers, uh, brother Victor, uh, God bless you who's watching also. I believe you're in Ukraine. If you're uh, if I'm wrong, then forgive me, but Lord uh, bless you. Uh, again, we've got folks uh, watching us in Ukraine because of by doing it at this time of the day, it's about 10:20, uh, mm -hmm. 3 p.m. in Ukraine. Some of you are still up, and though your English may not be the best, but we welcome you. We wish we could do it in different languages. Hi, Bogla Slovik, Vas, Nashi Brati, na Ukraini, kto devisa me molimo se za Ameriko i takoš molimo se za vas. Uh, so we're praying for America. We're also praying for people in other nations, and we're going to continue to do that. Uh, so um, send us your prayer requests. There have been different requests on uh, through Facebook, through Messenger. There are several people who have asked prayer for their sons who are in, co in a coma. And Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for their, your intervention. We pray for your healing power there yes. in, in Kiev. Those uh, two young men who are laying in a hospital. Lord, in yes. Jesus' name, raise them out of the bed of affliction, raise yes, them out of the debt bed in the yes, name of Lord. Jesus Christ. The Lord, that young man here in Sacramento who had been in a head on collision, Lord, in the name of yes, Jesus, Lord. we send you or touch him, Lord, in Jesus name, in Jesus name, in Jesus name. So if you have a prayer request you want us to uh, uh, pray for, just uh, write us. If you have a prayer request you want us to pray for, just write us. So we're going to, we do do pray not just during the hour of uh, being here on the broadcast, but we do pray uh, when we receive.
receive your request mm -hmm. uh, and know that sister monica the lord is working the lord is touching you and healing you taking your pain and, away, and taking your pain away and the, uh, racing the heart to slow down in the name of yeah. jesus. jesus and then yeah. kevin believe for your full and complete healing Amen. in jesus name believe that your colon is completely healed in jesus in name jesus receive name. that confess that declare that in the name of it's jesus well there's some folks that uh, may uh, be watching that or now or later who um, have been suffering from covid uh, and uh, we want to lift those up before the lord and sister marcy would you do that and whatever else the lord leads you to pray for amen thank you lord oh this is so powerful this is so powerful um when uh, nina you shared those scriptures psalms and all that that is so powerful and then walter you said uh that god's will will be done on earth as it is done in heaven jesus told us to pray like that we're not some kind of oddballs trying to make something happen that jesus never permitted jesus said this is how you pray let your will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. And I'm sure in heaven, hearts are working well. I'm sure legs are working well. I'm sure everything is working well. I'm sure there's righteousness and justice and peace. And there isn't corruption and, and all that darkness that goes on on earth. So we are proclaiming and declaring God's will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. And we pray for those with coronavirus in the name of Jesus. We agree with heaven that healing is ours. Receive healing right now in the name of jesus agree and align yourself with heaven heaven is saying you have been healed by the stripes of jesus on the cross now receive that healing and that's how we walk in righteousness is in right standing with god when god says you are healed you declare i am healed because god said so yes. so in jesus name receive it as you agree with heaven and then i wanted to share just a little nugget here you know we we are getting pretty well to the end of this session but i'll just take one minute and I don't know, but I do know that there is a difference in praying and there's a difference in calling upon the Lord. Like when your child gets hurt, they don't, they don't pray, they call. They don't speak, you know, okay, mom, I know it's your will for me to be well. They just call mom, mom. And I remember when there was an emergency in my neighbor's house and the child's foot was like cut and it was hanging and it was turning the toes were turning blue and i'm holding that child in my hands and i sent the mother away to the bedroom to dress her son because i didn't want her to watch what i'm going to do because i was going to do this call upon the lord i just said jesus 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 and i could feel her foot straightening out and her calming down because she was crying and fighting. You couldn't even hold her in your arms. She settled down and I looked and the foot was straightened out, was straightened out. The blue thing was gone out of her toes. This, the foot was cut by a rocking chair. She stuck it between the thing and all she had left she would walk and she started, she says, I want to play. And I was even scared to put her on the floor because we're not used to miracles. We're not God. We're not used to that something can be done so quickly. But what did I do? I just called on Jesus because his name is higher than sickness. His name is higher than unrighteousness. His name is higher than anything. And so we call Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We call upon you from this nation. We call upon you, Lord. Yes. Help us. Yes. Help us. Help us. In yes. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Amen. Jesus.
Amen. We want to greet Pastor Vadim in Poltava, Pastor Vadim, uh, it's so wonderful to have friends in Ukraine joining us uh, on the Prayer for America. And um, again, in different parts of the world, people have been watching, have been writing us, have been uh, contacting us, and we are continuing to pray. We are continuing to believe. And as Sister Marcy said just now, we're not just praying, we're calling, we're calling out to God on behalf of this nation, on your behalf, on behalf of the nations of the world, because I believe that God is yet to send another awakening, a spiritual Amen. awakening upon this world. As the prophet uh, said that I will pour out out. Joel said, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. It wasn't Joel, it was God speaking through the prophet Joel. I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. And I believe God is getting ready to do that. Sometimes before a great event like that happens, trouble comes, difficulties come. Sometimes there's confusion, there is problems. And, uh, but you know what? God always answers prayer. He may seem uh, late. He may, he's never early. He's never late. He's always right on time. Or like one brother said, he's always last minute, but <laughs> well, <laughs> but, but he's, he always comes at his time exactly. and our times are not his times. And that's why it is sometimes difficult for us to understand, hey, God, why didn't this already happen? Why didn't that already happen? Well, uh, several things. One is, as I said before, when you plant a seed, you don't see the plant the next day. Uh, yeah. you it, it begins to work. It begins to germinate. And that's the way with healing, too. You see, God works miracles. As Sister Marcy just mentioned in that case of that child, well, God worked a miracle, and God also heals people. And healing can take a few seconds, or it could take a few hours. It could take days. But it begins the moment your faith touches God, the moment you pray and believe that healing begins right there. You don't see it yet, perhaps, but it begins and it manifests. Hallelujah. Well, Amen. God is working. God is answering prayer. Amen. And uh, we're trying to keep these uh, prayer sessions in just half hour. But uh, Sister Marcy, you've got something uh, burning there. Uh, go for it. <laughs> I'm just uh, following what you're saying about sowing the seed in Mark 432. Everyone mark that down and read it. And you will see how your faith is going to leap forward, like Brother Walter was saying. But when it is sown, it groweth up and becometh greater than all herbs and shoot it for out great branches so that the fowls of the air may lodge under it. As soon as it is sown, it starts growing. As soon as hit, it hits the soil, just think, the soil is your need. As soon as it hits the soil, it starts growing. You don't see it, like Brother Walter said. It's like, what is God doing? Don't worry. Underneath that soil, like redemption was underneath the soil. It was happening while it looked dark and gloomy and awful and gloomy and, and, and a terrible and earthquake and everything else. Redemption was being formed underneath the crust of the earth while Jesus died on the cross. So remember that when you sow your seed. It starts growing immediately. Amen. And also, as, as what you were just saying, it just reminded me of God's creation. The Holy Spirit was, was hovering mm -hmm. over what was uh, not what we see today. It was a different, uh, it didn't have the shape or form. It's void. It was void. And yet the Holy Spirit was hovering over the earth, which what mm. creative power was at work in the midst of that, that what void or chaos or void or that whatever was there or not there. And God was just creating, was working on it. And then we see the beautiful earth that the Lord has made that we enjoy and, and um, are glad in it and live in it. But again, God's time 
is not our time. And so we may be looking at a calendar concerning the election. Well, by this date, this has to happen. By that date, that has to happen. But you know, God has his own calendar and it may not quite coincide with our calendar. Mm -hmm. And again, God is, um, <laughs> God is never late, but he is sometimes last minute, uh, quite often it seems, but anyway, mm -hmm. <laughs> so but he's got his own timing. And I mean, can you imagine the children of Israel, they're facing annihilation by the Egyptian armies. They were being pursued and they had nowhere to go. The sea is in front of them. And to that point, no one had walked across the sea. So they thought this is it. You know, the armies of Egypt are coming against them. It looked hopeless. It looked hopeless. I mean, it's not like they were an armed people. It's not like they had armaments to defend themselves. And yet they cried out to God. They called out to God, as Sister Marcy said. And look at the miracle. God opens the Red Sea and they walk on dry land. And not only did God open the dry, the, the, the Red Sea, but he had to dry out that muddy uh, soil. Because can you imagine if you take water out of a river or water out of a sea, there, wow. it would be quite muddy even if you remove the water. How would you get millions, a couple of million people across? And yet God worked miracle after miracle. But you see, um, they go across and, and you would think God should have already gotten rid of those Egyptians. Why are they still there? And those Egyptians then get behind them into that dry seabed coming right. after them. <laughs> And then God begins to show them his powerful hand as he begins to cause the wheels of those chariots to come off. And the strongest army in the world, the strongest nation in the world at that time, you could see it just its army falling apart before the eyes of God's people, the Jewish people. And we see how that then God causes those waters to swallow them up and they saw them no more. But you see, they, they were, I mean, right on their toes. I mean, they were right behind them. I mean, they actually got into that seabed with their chariots, but it is there that God began to cause them to fall apart. And so don't get uh, uh, discouraged. Look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Uh, he is more powerful than any need, problem, or situation. And um, we got to keep working by praying. We need to do what we can, and that is pray and wage spiritual battle. But God is working, and we need to have an attitude of thanksgiving, mm -hmm. thanking God for what he's done and what he is doing, even at this very moment. I just says we need to pray again um, for um, for the um, uh, for for the judges, the justices. I don't know at what point this uh, whole hearing is right now. It was supposed to have begun at um, 3 p.m. Uh, East, East Coast, Coast. Uh, which is 12 noon. So um, if uh, my assumption is that it is in, in session progress. right now, it is in progress. They're probably hearing from the states right now, their responses. And uh, after the responses, I, if I understand correctly, is they make a determination whether to proceed with this case, um, or, or it ends with a response. So we need to uh, pray again. I believe that the justices, every one of them, no matter what their uh, political views may be, would uh, uphold the Constitution um, and would uh, be uh, true to uh, their, uh, their position, their calling, their um, uh, their oath that they took, and that is to uphold the Constitution, Constitution of the United States of America. So we need to pray that they would not shirk that responsibility, and uh, and just because they don't want to be under 
pressure uh, from people and from even friends possibly and family and whoever, but uh, they need to do the right thing. They need to do what is correct and what is lawful in this situation. And again, we wanna just say hello to all those who are watching. And I see my sister Maria is watching all the way from Argentina. Um, I see, hola Maria, Dios te bendiga. Uh, I see that people are watching in different places, uh, mm -hmm. uh, as, as a number of people in Ukraine in different parts of the U.S. God richly bless you. But let's pray. Let's pray again. Uh, Sister Marcy, would you lead us in this prayer? Lord, we call upon you today. We call that you would let righteousness rule and reign and justice rule and reign, Lord, that your will shall be done through the hearts of these judges and justices. Lord Jesus, you said, Father, you said that God holds the heart of the king in his hand and he can turn it around and lord we ask you to turn their hearts towards doing what is right not what is wrong not what is crooked not what we want lord but what is right what your will is lord and we release your will to washington dc right now to the supreme court let your holy spirit hover over them like the Holy Spirit hovered over the chaos, waiting for someone to declare the word and give the Holy Spirit the sword of the Spirit. And Lord, we're declaring your will, your word, that your will shall be done on earth as it is done in heaven in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Lord, we release into the atmosphere. Yes your rule, your governance. And Lord, we say your kingdom be established. Your governance take effect in the Supreme Court of the United States of America. They've got the Ten Commandments hanging there. They're, our laws are based on the Judeo-Christian principles on the word of God. And Lord, we pray that yeah. they would uphold the Constitution that they have sworn to uphold and Lord, give them a strong backbone, compel them to do what is right, compel them, even if they are tempted to just shirk responsibility, even if they are tempted to, to give into some sort of pressure, let them not give into any pressure outside of your pressure and outside of the constitution of this nation. So Father, we pray that they would rule justly and and Lord, we pray that your kingdom will come. Your will will be done in the United States. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Do you have anything, no. uh, Nina? No, I just um, was um, just keep interceding, keep praying. Um, what came to me the other day was I saw Jesus um, high and lifted up, like over the United States, over the Pacific Ocean. And he was facing the United States with his hands um, out and out of each finger was lightning strikes or just bolts of light that were flowing through his hands to every city of the United States. And I really believe that what is done in darkness, what evil is done in darkness is going to be revealed through the light that he's going to um, send to this or he's sending to the United States of America. God is working. His light is shining into the darkness and even not only revealing evil, but people are going to see the light people are going to turn their hearts to god so just keep praying and believing this is a major moment a crucial moment in our history of our nation and we can affect what happens in this nation god has given the church the authority and we can go forward and believe and trust god that he is fighting our battles when we are on our knees so in the name of Jesus Christ, we speak light into every dark corner of this nation, even those uh, yes. uh, voting tabulation areas, voting uh, uh, processing places that may still be dealing with these issues. We speak light and we mm. s command every fraud to be exposed. Yes. It doesn't matter by whom yes. it may have been perpetrated. Yes. All those who have been involved in fraud, we command them to yes. be apprehended and dealt with and that justice will prevail in the United yes. States of America. Father, we thank you thank for you, fair Jesus. and honest election and yes. proper yes. tabulation yes. and results Please and all criminality be to be dealt with 
properly yes. in yes. Jesus' name. Lord, we yeah. pray that you yeah. awaken those in the Justice Department, the Attorney General, and those around him, and those in the FBI to properly handle this situation and not to shirk responsibility in the midst of what we are in right now, but to do what they are responsible to do legally in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. So, Father, we thank you. We thank you for light. We yes. thank you for uh, revelation. And we yes. thank you that you are answering prayer and that this is being dealt with in Jesus' yes. name. Yes. In thank Jesus' you. name. And I just want to pray once again for those who are in need of healing. Um, if you are in need of healing, put your hand where you are suffering if you can. Otherwise, put your hand on your heart. And I just want to declare healing over you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bring everyone who hears the sound of my voice. And if they have pain in their body, I come against that pain. And I speak to you pain by the authority authority of the name of Jesus Christ pain leave right now in Jesus name father I pray for those who are suffering from arthritis and I command their arthritic pain to leave I command their arthritis to die and leave their bodies and I speak healing into those knees those joints that neck that shoulder those legs those knees uh, in Jesus name in Jesus name receive your healing right now oh hallelujah that one who has a problem with an internal organ in jesus name i speak healing to that stomach healing to that liver healing to that kidney healing to the heart in the name of jesus christ and eyes eyesight be healed in jesus name ears come open in jesus name right now Right now, Lord, I just sense that you are healing people from the top of their head yes. to the very yes. tips of their toes. Yes. In Jesus, they be healed. In Jesus, and you, but you are being healed right now. I see you. You're sick, and God's just gonna hover over you, and you're gonna be well. In Jesus' name. Yes, and and look into Scripture to back it up. Mark eleven twenty four. It says, "Receive." The answer while you are praying, not afterwards, but while you are praying. I have many testimonies of me using that scripture and seeing miracles because you're supposed to receive it while you are praying. The manifestation will come, but receive it then. Just, okay, we prayed, we were prayed for, we re agreed together, and now I am healed begin to declare that do not say anything else begin to declare i am healed because god said so mm -hmm. hallelujah and amen, amen. The Praise thing, this may be silly but i just saw that um stomping on covid stand up and stomp your feet and covid is under you covid is under your feet it cannot touch you the bible says that uh, no disease shall come near your dwelling so stand up i just see it in my mind um just stand up stomp mm -hmm. on covid Mm -hmm. do a no note. plague no plague sh shall come nigh thee no plague. no plague that's right amen amen take spiritual authority not only like we we're saying we're talking about the courts we're talking about the elections but take spiritual authority over sickness over amen. circumstances over the amen. attack of the enemy in your home and your family your finances i mean some of you have suffered and are suffering from financial problems due to this pandemic yep. but in the name of jesus we break that we break that curse right now in the name of jesus christ and i release god's blessing god's financial blessing into your life in jesus name a new job where one is necessary a breakthrough in jesus name oh Oh, hallelujah, in Jesus' name. And you know what the Lord is just bringing to mind? You know, when the Egyptians were in the dark, the Israelites were in the light. So while some people may be in darkness right now, God can still bless you. And God, despite circumstances or darkness or whatever, pandemic, God can still protect you and bless you and meet your needs. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And don't take the report of the world because the world is reporting bad things 
because they are truthfully reporting bad things. But we are not in the kingdom of darkness. We are in the kingdom of light. And so as, as we've done so many times, I said, no, we are in the kingdom of light. They can be poverty stricken right now. They're losing money. We're not. The money is coming to us. And that's exactly what happened. Began to report to report, re is again port to put it on the port for ships to come and export it or, or import it or we export it, they import it. So don't keep putting this bad news on the port for the ships all to come and get this material that you're putting out there. These words, these, these seeds of bad things. Put a report out that Jesus is my healer and I thank him for healing me today as we were praying, I was healed, hallelujah. God doesn't decide when to heal you. I've never seen that in the Bible. You decide when you're going to receive that healing. You decide, you say, today I'm receiving. I'm tired of the sickness. I'm receiving right now in the name of Jesus. Like that woman, she pushed in and she touched the hem of his garment. And Jesus said, who touched me? He wasn't, he didn't, he didn't make this appointment. She did. She made the appointment. She decided when she will receive her healing. She said, when I touch the hem of his garment. That's the moment I'm receiving my healing. And she received it. It works like that every single time. Don't sit there and wait. Oh, sometimes, and in Ukrainian, there's other words like, oh, we'll see, we'll see what God is. No, no. You'll see what God is doing when you decide. You decide. That's right. Because the healing is available. You just need to reach out and, and receive it. Amen. I just feel that we need to do this. I don't know if there's anybody next to you that you could get a hold of their hand, yeah, but just get a hold of their hand right now in the name of Jesus. And let's just agree right now we're stomping out that uh, pandemic, that virus. Yeah with spiritual yep. authority in the name of Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. Father, in yep. the name of Jesus, we come in agreement right now with Nina and Marcy and all those who are watching us in agreeing with us right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And we are stumping on the virus in the name of Jesus. Virus, you have no place in us. You have no authority over us, over our families, over our homes, over our finances in Jesus' name. Oh, Oh, yeah. God, in the Jesus. name of Jesus, we have the victory. Thank yes, you, we have the victory in the Jesus. name of yes. Jesus. And greater are you, Lord Jesus, yes. who are in us and he that is in the world. You are greater than the virus. You're greater than any virus. You're greater than any sickness or disease. And we yes. declare that you are Lord of our lives and you are Lord of our health and you are Lord of our finances. You are Lord of our families in Jesus' name over our jobs in Jesus, Jesus. Name. Jesus. hallelujah Jesus. hallelujah Shande de Jesus. and Jesus. Lord God as you said no plague shall come near your dwelling yes. Lord just like you kept oh, the plague away in Egypt the plague did not touch your people but Lord even so right now we declare a shield of protection over every believer in Jesus name in Jesus name Jesus. no virus no in sickness Jesus. or disease yes. in Jesus name in Jesus name and Lord thank you for prospering your people right now in Jesus name in Jesus name hallelujah in yes. Jesus you, name Jesus. hallelujah I just keep getting reminded of, of that uh, of the, um, the Israelites and the Egyptians I mean it was a time of pandemic and uh, it was going throughout the land but they yeah. were not affected, mm -hmm. and though the others were uh, suffering and they were, mm -hmm. uh, you know, losing, they God's people were prospering. Mm -hmm. Praise God! I can also attest in our family. You know, none of our children lost jobs during this pandemic. God just gave them uh, mm -hmm. uh, the provision, um, and and I know people have done better. Uh, during this uh, pandemic mm -hmm. than they did before. So mm -hmm. God uh, can provide mm -hmm. for you. Just believe that. Uh, don't just accept the negative report, as Marcy was saying, but accept the report of the Lord. And yeah. one of the reports of the Lord is that by his stripes, you are healed. Yes. Receive your yeah. healing. Yeah. And, uh, and, and when he paid, uh, um, when he suffered on the cross, he not only suffered for your the forgiveness of your sins, 
that is the most important, but he yes. also suffered to pay for your healing, physical he healing, as well as financial well-being. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and I feel about the prosperity. Think, Jesus said, pray this way. Jesus knew what's in heaven. And he said, pray this way, thy will be done, not only in healing, prosperity, because the streets are made of gold. Think you're going to be walking and trotting on gold, never mind wearing it on your finger or around your neck. No, you're, the streets are paved with gold. So thy will be done on earth as your will is done in heaven. There's nobody poor in heaven. There's nobody on social welfare in heaven. There's no one no one so begin to believe god and just maybe your situation looks so poor and bad just begin to say lord i just trust you that your will is being done in my life here on earth as it is done in heaven and there's no one poor in heaven and i'm not going to be one of the devil's kids i'm your kid and i am part of the kingdom i am in the kingdom and so i need to prosper I need to prosper and you will see miracles happening in your life. Believe now, agree with us right now. When Walter, brother Walter, when you said that prosperity, that that is the, you hit the nail on the head. Many people need to have their financial needs met. And we thank God for that. Amen. Yes. Amen. I mean, some Amen. people have lost jobs. There's no question about it. And they've been suffering. But you need to take that spiritual authority that you have over this attack from the enemy. When uh, we we were in, um, uh, we were traveling in the beginning of this year. We were in different parts of this country uh, ministering. We were in Cuba ministering. Ukraine. We were in Ukraine ministering. I think we were also were ministering in Hawaii uh, early, in the early part of this year. We were in Ukraine. We were in Atlanta area. We were in uh, Cuba ministering, just powerful ministry. And we came back. And when this thing started, just, you know, we cut our trip short in, in Europe because of the virus. But we came home. And, and I believe that this is what the Lord revealed to me about this virus, that it's a three-pronged virus. Uh, you know, we think of it as just a physical thing. No, as there's three prongs to this. It's a yeah. spiritual, there's a spiritual aspect of it, putting fear on people, uh, mm -hmm. trying to put, put doubt in people. There is the physical aspect, of course, you know, the sickness, and there is the financial aspect mm -hmm. and how true that is. And mm -hmm. Jesus said, you know, he said, the thief, the devil he's talking mm -hmm. about comes to kill, steal, and destroy what has this virus been doing killing stealing and destroying and uh, you know it, it's it, it's in, in in different ways not just destroying physically but trying to mm -hmm. destroy people's finances uh livelihood trying to destroy people uh, uh you know emotionally destroy their faith put fear on them. I mean, some people are afraid of their own shadow, it seems. I mean, <laughs> or their own breath. I don't know. It's just, uh, I mean, I'm not saying it's not a real virus, but the thing is people have like forgotten the greatness and power of God. It's like this virus is, is going to grab you and kill you. You know, you, you kind of have faith in the midst of this. With God, all things are possible. Amen. 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 Yes, and you know, we receive... We receive what we believe, but I have it written down and it's so powerful, but you had to better believe the right thing. Cause if you believe the wrong thing, that's what you're going to receive. So you had better believe the right thing. And what is the right thing? Read the word, read the will of God, believe the will of God. Don't just say, Oh, I'm just believing. No, you could be believing all kinds of witchy things and demonic things that, Oh, it's so bad now. Oh, I'm going to be sick. We're not going to have no money and all this. Don't believe that. That is a bad report. Start declaring the good report. The report from the Lord. I'm with you. I'm your shepherd. I'm your guide. I'm your leader. I'm your healer. I'm your deliverer. God is our God. He created the whole world. And right now he's holding the whole world in the palm of his hand. Just think what a mighty God we have. Amen. 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 Just a few years ago, we used to sing that song, whose report will you believe? I will believe the report of the Lord. And yeah. that is exactly what you need to do. What is the report of the Lord? The word of God. Yeah. 
if you believe uh, just all the negative garbage that comes through the media or whether it's social media or news or, or, or even movies and newspapers, I mean, there's just so much uh, trash out there. If you just put your mind on those things, you will be affected by those things. So the question is whose report will you believe or do you believe? Do you believe that or do you believe the word of God? Do you believe that uh, those symptoms? Do you believe that attack? I mean, or do you believe God's word? I mean, the attacks are real. The symptoms are real. But do you stand on God's word that by his stripes you are healed? Or do you accept what the symptoms try to tell you and try to get you to believe it's so important what you believe uh i mean the uh, uh, faith can be positive or negative people think of faith while well, faith is always positive no uh, you can believe the wrong things remember the 12 spies were sent out and i could never figure out why moses even did that because god had already promised them that uh, that land it was to be uh, theirs uh, certainly you want to know how to go and take it but I mean, 10 of them come back with this evil report. What was the evil report? Oh, there's giants in the land and we cannot go in there. We're, they're too strong for us. We cannot overcome. The city walls uh, are so thick and so tall. There's no way we could take over that land. But uh, there were two men, Joshua and Caleb, and they said, yes, we can. Uh, the, the enemies are uh, are like like butter, you know, you know, I mean, like to a knife, and, and we can do it, we can take over, because our God is greater, they were looking at the greatness of God, and the, and that God was going to give them the victory, so whose report did they believe? They believe the report, the negative report, the evil report, and so what happened? They ended up wandering in the wilderness for 40 years, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that's what I see in Christians' lives. Sometimes they're wondering. Maybe it's not 40 years, but they're just wondering and wondering and wondering. And, and, uh, but you see, you don't need to wonder. You can believe the report of the word of God. You can re believe the right report, the positive report, that by the stripes of Jesus Christ, you were healed, that greater is he who is in you than he that is in the world. If God be for you, who can be against you? Believe that report, okay, instead of the other report. So um, it's if you you see those people believed, but they believed the wrong thing. Report. Now uh, uh, the Joshua and Caleb did not say there are no giants. They didn't deny the reality of the situation. Yeah, they said they're giants. There's big walls. Mm -hmm cities but we can overtake them we can do it we are more than able we are more because god said able. so yes because god said so and yes. also can i share a little report here on cancer because so many christians that i know there's non-christian suffering with cancer but a lot of christians suffering with cancer and cancer is uh one of those things that I, i'm telling you it screams and it screams death it screams death all the time. This lady went to the doctor. She had, he told, she's only got a few weeks, like two weeks to live. She got home and this evangelist, you probably would know if I'd give you his name, but I will not do that. This evangelist said to her, if I can get your mouth and your heart to change, you can be, you don't have to die. You don't have to die of this cancer. And so he told her to begin to speak to that cancer and every day and not just once a day she spoke all the time and she only took time to eat and to sleep and to rest but she spoke the word of god all the time and she said cancer I, I loved it when i read that cancer jesus lives in this body you have no right to be here get out of my body she spoke it every day Jesus lives in my body, not, there's no room for you. Get out of my body. The Holy Spirit is in my body. Get out of my body. Begin to speak and because the name of Jesus is higher than that cancer. That's why sicknesses have a name so we can have authority over it. If they didn't have a name, we wouldn't know what to say. So begin to speak to that sickness and tell that sickness for it to go because when you know when the devils uh, were cast out they said where can we go can we go into those uh, swine into those pigs and jesus had to give them 
the right to go there. So you have the right to tell the devil where to go. Get out of my body in Jesus name. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Well, um, we've gone over oh boy. <laughs> by quite a bit, but that's okay. It was good. It was God good. Was with us. And God is with us. And again, in the name of Jesus, we pray for the Supreme Court yes. justices yes. that you would give them backbone and that they would rule uh, yes. right uh, uh, correctly and they would rule according to the Constitution, despite whatever their personal beliefs or thoughts or mm -hmm. pressures that they may feel that they would have the backbone to properly administer justice in this situation. Yes. And Father, we pray again that um, your kingdom would come, your will will be done in the United States of America. Yes. And we declare that Jesus Christ is Lord over Washington, D.C. and over every state and territory of the United States of America. Yes, Lord. Amen and amen. amen. God richly bless you. Join us tomorrow at 12 Pacific uh, at uh, 1 p.m. Uh, um, I'm sorry, uh, 12 o'clock Pacific will be 1 p.m. I think Central. Anyway, figure out the time. So it'll be 3, <laughs> 3 p.m. East, uh, East Coast, Coast time. time. 3 p.m. East Coast time mm -hmm. and 12 p.m. Pacific. Join us as we continue to pray for America, for you, and for the nations. And again, Saturday, very special Saturday evening, 5.30 p.m. Pacific, 8.30 uh, p.m. Uh, East Coast time. We're going to be with the uh, whole crew. Uh, Tony and Marge Abram will also join us, uh, God permitting. And uh, tomorrow we'll be back again at uh, 12 noon Pacific. God amen. richly bless you. Uh, and uh, expect a miracle. Amen.